Patty, I got a question for you. Hey, Rodney. I want to get divorced. I want to divorce my wife, Pamela. Okay. What is, let's talk through this. What's your basis for the divorce? Why do you want the divorce? She is habitually intoxicated every day. Okay. All right. Well, you know, that is in the state of Georgia, one of the 13 grounds for divorce. I'm going to tell you the truth. A bottle of Chardonnay is Pamela's natural habitat. I, I want to put that in the divorce decree. Well, okay. I understand what you're saying, but let's talk about this, okay? Um, you know, there are 13 grounds for divorce, the 13 ones being irreconcilable differences with no hope of reconciliation. What is, what is commonly referred to as no-fault divorce? Oh, she's at fault because she never met a bottle of wine she couldn't finish. Okay. Well, so most people nowadays will file on the basis of no fault or their irreconcilable differences. Um, you do still have cases, and we still do it sometimes, where you file based on fault grounds. In your case, we're talking about habitual intoxication. That's right. Now, what I you know counsel people, and I'm counseling you, is you know you need to think about that. You know you have little Rodney, okay, and little Rodney is going to know that his parents are divorcing. You know, in the future, he may at some point see the divorce paperwork. I'm talking about when he's an adult. Yeah. Do not show Rod, little Rodney any of the divorce paperwork while we're going through this. Okay. Um, but he might see it at some point in the future. Um, and, and the grounds for the divorce, both in the petition and in any final divorce decree, is, it becomes public record. So that becomes public record. So I have to ask you, and we can talk about this more as we go along, do you really want that in the public record? Because remember, this is the mother of your child. This is the mother of little Rodney. So you need to think about not just the impact, but also the impact on little Rodney. Okay? You make a good point, Patty. I want you to be my lawyer. Well, I appreciate that, Rodney. The other thing I will tell you is, is if you want a divorce on a fault ground, um, you have to prove be it by a preponderance of the evidence that your ex, soon to be ex, is habitually intoxicated. And now I say that because contrast that with doing a no fault divorce under irreconcilable differences. That's much easier to prove because you don't have to prove fault. Just the mere fact that one of you wants a divorce is, is irreconcilable differences in and of itself. I can prove she's drunk all the time. Because I got all these video cameras all throughout the house. Yeah, Rodney, we talked about those video cameras, and so you need to take them down. All right. You are my lawyer. You're a smart lady. Call us if you need assistance with your divorce. Shoemaker.